What's going on guys? So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 4.26's water plugin. This is another addition plugin that they added recently and it's freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new template here so you guys can follow along. And you guys know I like doing third person because it's fun. And I'm going to go ahead and title this water tutorial and create a project. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and enable some plugins. So edit, plugins, water. I'm going to enable that. I'm going to go ahead and enable this, and I'm also going to enable landmass because that's going to give us some control. So enable that, and then restart. Okay, so we are back in Unreal Engine 4, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new level so we can start from the beginning. Default is okay. And like before, I'm going to go ahead and delete this main one, and then we're going to go to our modes, Shift 2, right here. We're going to create a landscape, and I'm going to go ahead and do 70% on this one, 70, 70, 70, and then I'm going to do a 2x2, two Eh, six by six. Eh, let's do seven by seven. It's okay. You can create whatever you want, but I'm just doing this right here. And then I'm gonna create enable edit layers. Don't forget to do that. And then let's go ahead and create our landscape. Okay, so here is our landscape here. As you can see, we are still compiling shaders, so I am kind of laggy here. So let's go ahead and wait for that. All right, so now that we're finished uh, compiling shaders here, let's go ahead and close the landscape mode by just going shift one or clicking here and then select. Okay, so the water plugin is actually an actor, so over here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and type water. If you don't see this, go ahead and go to Windows, load layout, and then default. And then you're going to type in water. Now, there's a couple of uh, water options. We're going to take a look at the water body ocean first, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that here. And if this is the first time uh, you've done this, it's going to compile a lot of shaders right here. So I have it 420 right now. All right, guys, so after our shaders have been compiled, you're going to see that we have our water system here, which looks really freaking cool. And if you do drag and drop the ocean one, you are going to be given a little island in the middle, which, like we did previously, you can edit as far as, you know, moving it around, extending it if you want, because it is uh, controlled by spline, again, similar to the landscape that we did yesterday. Now, this is the ocean here. And it looks pretty cool, but I'm going to show you guys how you can customize it. Now, I can't go over everything you can do with this plugin, but I'm going to show you some of the stuff that you can mess around with. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect that so that annoying thing is not showing up. So All right, so now what we're going to do is go over some of the settings you can change for this water plugin here. If you go to the right side, you're going to see some settings that we looked at yesterday for the landmass which is this right here, the terrain, the curve settings, the offset, the water height, the blend mode, the effects, the curling, blurring, and all that stuff. But what I'm going to be looking at is actually the stuff for the water itself. So let's go ahead and minimize this, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down until we see water. So wave right here. I'm going to go twirl this down, twirl this down, and you're going to see the actual asset itself. And if I double-click this or click this little browser right here it's going to take us to the content folder right here and if i double click that it's going to give us a lot more options for the wave so i'm going to go ahead and scooch this over so you can see better uh, left side should be okay since we don't need it i'm going to go ahead and twirl this right here waves right here and then here you go we're going to need some wavelengths amplitude directions steepness and right here i'm just going to twirl everything here so by tweaking these right here if i do like 300 you're going to see that that water just got crazy, like the number of waves, and then I can change the seeds. And if we crash, that's okay. I mean, we have an RTX R 3090, so it should be okay. But uh, randomness, you know, it can crank that up as well, so it doesn't look the same. And that looks really freaking cool, right? I mean, you got to understand, like, if you've been around CG before you understand how hard it is to generate water it, it, but in a couple of clicks we just generated some pretty amazing ones and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and lessen this here but i'm just going to go ahead and move some settings around to be honest so you can kind of see right creating some length and if i press play i should be able to play in this area here oh my gosh let's move that play uh player if i go right here on the player start I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that closer to the water. I didn't realize how big this map is, so I'm going to press play. And now I'm falling to the ground because I am underground. So move it up, press play, and here we go. Oh, look at that. How cool is that, right? Look at that. We're just kind of walking through it right now. That's so cool. All right, so going back to the settings here, um, let's go ahead and change the amplitude. You know, if you're trying to create some 
crazy avatar effect. You're trying to control that water. You know, you can do all that stuff right here, which is really cool. So that's kind of like where you can switch the waves itself, but you can also change the material. So I'm going to go ahead and reset these from the beginning, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change the material. So if I go back to the water body ocean uh, actor right here in your outliner, and you scroll down, and you look at the material right here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to search for it in the content, click on this, and it's going to open this up right here. And if you double click it, so if I go right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and hide this because I really just want to see the settings itself. And you can actually check mark this stuff and it's going to change the actual water. You see how that the water just sped up. So like I said earlier, I'm not going to be able to go through every single one of these because there's a crap ton of them. We're going to be here all day. So if you want to create some you know, offset right there, you can change all that stuff. You can play around with these settings here and it's it's crazy there's just too much settings to freaking you know go over and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and save this just in case it crashes on us i'm gonna save this level here and what i'm gonna do is just kind of just show you guys um you know like a little quick texture and where to get texture if you if you're trying to do something like this now uh up here you're gonna see mega scans i do have mega scans plugin installed for the uh unreal engine 4.26 so if you don't have that take a look at this website quixel mega scans it is free for unreal engine epic games uh users and if you really want some photorealistic stuff this is what those guys are using right here mega scans photo scans this is what they do and it's absolutely free so for the sake of this tutorial what i'm going to do is i already have that plugin so i'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go to that plugin and get some textures for this so whenever you download quixel mega scans you're going to download bridge as well so basically this right here is the same as that website that i showed you guys and what's cool about it is this is already connected to my unreal engine 4 so what i'm gonna do is make this bigger and i'm gonna go ahead and go to the collections and let's just get like a nice sandy area for this beach here and let's see if i can find some scroll down now we do have this tropical beach right here which looks nice and i'm gonna grab the sand right here i'm gonna go ahead and download this 8k resolution is fine and this is going to go straight to my unreal engine 4 here in a second you're going to see go ahead and go to my content browser and you're going to see that it should be popping up right here so once that's downloaded i'm going to go ahead and click export and this is going to export it straight to unreal engine and it's going to load it up right here now obviously this is just really nitty and gritty texturing tutorial texturing is a whole nother beast quixel also has a quixel mixer which is if you're really into like getting some really good textures definitely take a look into that but for this one i'm just going to show you like a quick way you can texture these um unreal engine scenes here so we have this tie rippled sand once you're downloaded it here if you go to your landmass right here in the landscape you can actually go ahead and just Texture your landscape here, and that's going to apply it to this little area right here, which is kind of cool. Now, obviously, the tiling is off, so you're going to have to mess around with the settings. But just like that, you now have this nice sandy beach-looking thing. Man, my camera's too fast. It's going to slow it down. Just like that, you have this nice, you know, texture per se. And what's cool about Quixel is you can actually download some trees and 3d assets in there as well so we'll go ahead and change the settings here if you double click this material you can open that instance and you're going to be able to change some um settings like tiling and stuff like that so i'm going to go to tiling and i'm going to go ahead and go like 0.1 then 0.1 for that y as well so we can get some nice look to that so it doesn't look as you know crappy so i'm going to go ahead and save this and it looks like i can actually see the circle that the landscape is in so i can i can change that if need be but just like that we created a quick sand come on camera I wish there's like a shortcut right here you kind of see that that's really nice and then like i said if you go back to bridge and you want to download like okay yeah let's download some trunk right there because you know i missed the beach i used to go to the beach a lot before this whole thing started so let's go ahead and just mess around with some of the stuff here just download and then export it all right so we got this right here and then we got this right here. I'm going to export that straight to Unreal Engine 4. Download that. It's so cool. This is really cool. And, you know, we can even have, like, starfish. Some rocks going in there. Matches the sand, so that's perfect. This right here. This right here. It's cool, right? And there's so much right here. Look at this. Thai Beach Sand. And like I said, you can also mix these together to get like 
even a better material for your environment. So let's go ahead and start exporting here. I'm going to export this one. So if you haven't seen the video on how you install this thing in Unreal Engine 4, go ahead and check it out in my channel. We're going to go back to our mega scans. You're going to see that we do have a bunch of 3D assets now. So um, I'm going to go to my player start if I can find it. Right here, it's actually in the middle of that, and it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. We'll take this side here, and I'm going to move it up so I don't fall down. But I'm going to go ahead and start dropping these things here. <laughs> this is crazy, right? Now, the scale right here is kind of off because this, this should be like a palm tree trunk. It's a little bit smaller, but it's okay. We're going to go ahead and scale that here in a second. Uh, we'll get some rocks going. All right, so drag and drop that. Drop this right here. That's cool, too. We can spread that around this one as well. I think that's the same one. Why did I do that? Uh, yeah, this is the same exact one. Why did I do that? So, and, and it's crazy because now if I, you know, go here and just kind of make it uh, slower, you can kind of see what you can do with these textures because now you're adding, like, secondary textures to this. Which looks really cool. Obviously, that looks ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the snap. So, I can kind of bury it a little bit like that. Got this nice rock right here. Same exact thing. Bury it. And it's so crazy, man. This right here is is definitely like painting. You know? Like, if you play Sims as a kid. I played Sims as a kid. And I was like, when would I ever need to... When would I ever need the skills that I'm using in Sims somewhere down the line in my life. And folks, it's this is it right here. You know, look, this is so cool. Like, look at that. You know, we got some tree, palm trees right here that I can kind of just really move around. There are a lot of collections over here. This is just one of them that you can get. I mean, if I go here, you'll see even more, some stumps. You know, maybe add like a cinematic stump at the beach, like a tree log or something like that. It's downloading. I'm going to go ahead and export that. All right, so we go back here. It's importing it right away. Content. I'm going to go to Megascans, 3D Assets, tree log right here. You know, get a little tree log going. This one is huge. This one is scaled right. Oh, my God. Okay, so if that's big, let's go ahead and scale this as well. I'm going to lock it here and just scale this up. Really create some pretty amazing texture here. Look at this. Tetris right here, guys. You know, and just like that, and I'll press play, you legit have this, you know, like really crappy environment, but in just a couple of clicks and there's no there's no physics on there i don't think there's any collision in there yet so obviously you have to set that up um, and another thing i want to show you is inside this water plugin here is actually uh buoyancy it comes with a blueprint already so if i go if i go to the water body ocean and i'm going to go ahead and go back to that folder i'm going to go to the water content right here if you go to click on blueprints you're going to see this bp buoyancy example and what this is actually it's a nice blueprint for you to use in uh, in accordance or in, in addition to this blueprint of the water. So I'm going to increase my camera so I can show you what this is doing. So if I drag and drop this water here and I press play and find that, you're going to see that that box is now floating because there it's a BP. So it's a blueprint that's meant for this water simulation. So it's really cool. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you... Um, create a nice water environment with uh you know like mega scans and stuff like that if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll see you guys later